Hey guys, Tyler here. Today I'm playing The Devil's Calculator. This is a math puzzle game where I operate a cursed calculator. It seems that instead of the ability to add, subtract, multiply, and divide like a normal calculator, I have a diamond. Look for patterns. Experiment with the function and compute 666 with it. 666 equals. 670, so maybe the function adds 4 to the input. I see, level 1. So, yeah, what plus 4 is 666, thank you. I expect that each level is going to have, like, a different function. I'm going to have to figure out what it is and then do some math to solve this cursed calculator. So, 666 times 100. It's diamond 6.66. Beautiful. I actually love math. No joke. It was easily my favorite subject in school, and it probably inspired my love of puzzle solving. This divides it by negative 2. So that would be negative 1332, except include the diamond, you absolute buffoon. Does this work? Genius. Please introduce calculus into this game. 1338. So my first thought is that it multiplied it by 2, but added 6. But there's a better way to test this. I could do like diamond 1 to experiment. 8 diamond 2 10 i like that it shows the history yeah this is double than adding six so to get to 666 if i subtract six that's six city so half of that is 330 cool working backwards doing math oh right this is the story <laughs> the calculator has caught fire surely this nicely horned teacher will be able to help us out and not uh, make the problem worse. The five is on fire. <laughs> it burns. I can use this function multiple times. Well, what's it doing this time? With one, it brings me to 12. With two, it brings me to 13. With three, it brings me to 14. So it just adds 11. So I would want to do 655, five, but ouch is what actually happens. So if it adds 11, I can just do diamond, diamond, 644. Nice. The three is on fire now. No, I will not use the graph view. Negative two from one. Negative four from two. Is it just multiplied by negative two? I think that's, yeah, that's the idea. So they've gotten rid of three. So I can't just do negative three, 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 but I can do half of three, three, three. One, six, six point five. There we go. Older functions are often reused and placed in placed in new more challenging contexts. Oh, is this the same as like double the number add six, but I don't have three anymore? Yeah, so I did diamond three, three to zero before, but now I have to figure out how to use the diamond to get to 330. So I can do a double diamond. So 330 minus six is 324. Half of that is 162, I think. Not nice. <laughs> Functions are not necessarily algebraic in nature and can be highly deceptive. Minus two, minus one. So it just subtracts three. Well, but it apparently it's not algebraic. What if I put 666 in? 333? Three, three? Does it subtract each digit by three? Yeah, cool. Can treat its input conditionally based on odd criteria. Odd is underlined, so that's a clue. Well, let's see. One minus 82. Minus six. Minus 80. Minus five. Ah, uh, I'm already seeing a pattern. One, three, five kind of keeps going up by two. So I imagine a diamond seven will in fact be minus 76. Cool. So what? I'm just subtracting 83 from odd numbers. So what's 666 plus 83? 743, but the four is burning. So I got to do it again, but hold on. Is there an actual pattern for even numbers? Minus 18. What about like minus six? Just positive 18. Even's just multiplied by three. So what if I do like minus two, two, two? That works. Much easier than the odds. History and graph data. Well, I don't know why I'd want to clear my calculator history. It's not like it's an internet browser. That's a number. Surely I could find something more helpful. Nope, not finding that much helpful yet. Oh, this is weird. What if I do like diamond 666 here? Interesting. Graph. Well, it is a straight line. Hold the screen to plot on Wolfram. <laughs> oh my god, it literally opened Wolfram Alpha. Well, this is useless to me right now because it didn't actually create an equation. I actually don't know how to work Wolfram Alpha. Is this 
Celsius to Fahrenheit. 666 Celsius to Fahrenheit. 1230.8. Send it. <laughs> well, that was fun. What other tricks do you have up your sleeve? Minus four from one. Two gets me minus three. Looks like a cool subtraction of five so far. It still looks like a cool subtraction of five so far. Gee, I wonder if 671 would get me there. <laughs> ah, yep, that's right. Huh, interesting. Wow, um, this feels like another number shifter. Like if I do six, would I get one? So how about negative three? Right, got me minus eight. Oh wait, I can put this after the diamond. This of negative one? Wait, but didn't do it. How did I get, what? So does that mean that it's negative one, 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 and then you put the diamond here? Oh, this is negative 666. So here, what I actually need to do is um, negative diamond, negative. I want two negatives. I'm not gonna get it. Negative 111. Bam, another negative. There we go. Negatives on both sides. It can, in fact, be done. You absolute asshole, burning more keys. Hold down any memory key to overwrite and reuse it. I don't actually know what the function of these is. And I'm not learning now. That's minus 82. Okay, what about 3? Minus 80. This seems familiar. Or I'm just subtracting 83. And I still can't do 743. What about evens? Times multiple 3. Times multiple 3. But I can't do 222. Two, two. So I think I just need to do the odd number thing twice. So what's 743 plus 83? That would get me 826. Okay, plus 83 again. Damn it. That's 909, so I do diamond, 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 909. Huh, maybe you're not subtracting 83. Oh, wait, oh, that's because actually when I do it once, it becomes even, so then it multiplies. Ah, you cheeky thing. So what I actually got to do is subtract 83 to get to 222. So 222 plus 83 is 305. So I do dumb, double diamond 305. It goes from 305 to 222, then multiplies by 3 to get to 666. Right, I forgot about the negative. Diamond, diamond, 305. Put a negative sign here. Love it. Tap and hold the screen to open an unpossessed calculator. Oh, <laughs> there's the real calculator. That actually is helpful. Ah, that's a lot of fire. Understanding each level mechanically is requisite for later success. One. Well, not much more I can do besides like 10. Oh, is this binary? Yeah, it's, it's a binary. This is four. Okay, so what's the binary for 666? So 512, yes. 256, no. 128, no. 64, no. 32, no. 16, yes. Eight, yes. Four, no. Two, no. Or two, yes. One, no. There it is. I love binary. And what's this? Is it binary again? Two. Two is two. Okay, 666, easy. It's doubled. What is three? Three. What is 11? 13. What is nine? 11. Eight. Okay, when does it stop equaling itself and become a bigger number? Four equals itself, seven equals itself, but eight equals 10. This isn't base eight, is it? What is 16, 20? Yeah, base eight. So that's eight, then 64, then 512. So one, five, 12, two 64s, then three eights, and then two ones. Oh, this is the inverse, I see. So I have to get the input, the decibel number that gets me 666 in base eight. So six plus six times eight, which is 54, duh. It's basically six times nine, which is nice. Then six times 64, which should be 360 plus 24, which is 384 plus 54, which is 438. There we go. Second try is the charm. Well, this one's at least kind of interesting because I can't do the whole 305 thing anymore to get to 222 then 666. So I feel like I actually have to go through negative numbers. Give me the damn real calculator. So I know that uh, to get to negative 666, I would have to add 83, 583, but five is burning. Basically 583 minus 83 equals 666. Or if I assume negative 222 gets me to negative 666. Let me check. Negative 10 gets me a 30. 
Yeah, so I just need to get to negative 222 somehow. Negative 222 plus 83. Negative 139 is probably my solution. Oh, nice. Double diamond it. Send it. Thank you. So X times two plus six. So I can't do 330. And then before that was 166, 162. That minus six is 156. Half of that 78. Minus six is 72. Half of that th is 36. We're getting pretty low here. Minus six is 30. Half of that is 15. I can get there from 15. So from 15 to 36, from 36 to 78, from 78 to 156, to 330 to 666. Five diamonds, 15. <laughs> All right, cute. Oh no. Panic. The calculator is evil. Why? Oh, oh wait, no, that's a pitchfork. New mechanic. Two inputs make an output. Holy crap. So five times 83 plus seven times 17 is 666. Three question marks. Well, damn. Okay, so to start me off by having numbers burnt, what if I do like zero, fork, zero? Oh, that's not how it works. Two, fork, two. Oh, that one worked. Oh, was it division? Did it try to divide by zero? I almost beat the calculator. So yeah, this would also return one. Four divided by two is two. Okay, so it's literally just division. Well, double six, six, six is 1332, which I can't do. Triple it is 1998. I think I got a quadruple it. So 1332 times two, which is 26, uh, 64. 2664 fork four. Neat. For results to be graphed, both inputs must be the same. Interesting. Three, four, three is negative nine. Am I gonna get negative 16 here? I am. Let me see, four, four, four. This will just get me 16. Okay, how does 666 factorize well two times three 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 six times one 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 or nine by two times 37 which of course we all know to be 74 nine fork 74 nine fork negative 74 nice right it's not all algebraic well let's still do a cool one fork one 22 let's do a cool three fork 33 yeah, something felt right about that. This is suggesting that I cheat and use Wolfram Alpha, which I refuse to. Could it be multiplying? 9 fork 74? Nope. 2 fork 2. 2. 3 fork 3. 4 fork 2. 3. Average? Am I taking the average here? 0 fork 1332? Yep. Holy shit. Oh, God. Multiple forking functions. Let's do a cool 0 fork... Zero, zero, not helpful. Three, four, three, nine, am I multiplying? Six, four, three, 18. Yeah, multiplying, but a lot of missing numbers. So I can't do nine, four, 74. Can't do 18, four, 37. I can't do six, four, one, one, one. I can't do two, four, three, three, three. Well, I could do multiple inputs. So 18, four, 37 is actually six, four, three, four, 37. Love it. This is really telling me how to cheat with Wolfram Alpha. I refuse. My mind won't let me. It will call me a bitch if I use that website. This is interesting. I actually have no idea what this pattern could be. One, five? What if I do like two fork one? Do we think order matters? Order does not matter. See, I feel like they take the bigger number, multiply it by two. So hear me out. Why don't I do like a cool three through three fork one? Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> That's not it. Three, four, one. Oh, okay. I'm squaring the numbers and adding them together. That took a little too long. So five, four, five is basically 25 plus 25, which is 50. You know, 625 is pretty close. It's only 41 off. Can I just add other squares to get to 41? Well, yeah, it's uh, 25 plus 16, right? So it's just 25, four, five, four, four. Is that the answer? Interesting, actually. Maybe it did it one at a time. Like maybe it forked 25 and five, and then it took the sum of that and forked four. And 25 fork five is pretty big. Yeah, so I really just need two squares to add the 666. Where the hell are they? Or maybe it's close to like 21 fork 13, 21 fork 15. 
<laughs> nice. A fork B does not necessarily equal B fork A. Ah, I was waiting for that to happen. Zero. Three fork three, six. One fork three is two. Three fork one is zero. What is four fork four? 12. Four fork one, zero. Five, 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 fork one, is that also gonna equal zero? Four, fork three is eight. Three, fork four is nine. What on earth am I looking at? Seven, fork seven is 42. This appears to be the first number times the second number minus one. So eight, fork eight is eight times seven, which is 56. Okay, well, 18 times, or we do 37 fork 19. That should work. Level 25. Oh, God. Uh, this is not helpful. Two fork one. One fork two. Huh. Three fork one. Negative six. Is it the first number times the second number minus the first number? So four fork two would get me four times negative four, which is negative eight. Okay. So right away I'm thinking about nine fork something minus nine to get 74, which is 83. 83 minus nine is 74. Nine fork 74 or times 74 she equals six, six, six. I'm not ready to launch my calculator yet. Instead I will experiment. Zero fork zero is zero. Two fork two is Oh, I'm definitely going to need to launch this calculator. Hold on. This is the square root of two. So hold up. Is this then the cube root of three? What if I do three, four, two? That's the square root of three, but I don't have one available. Well, so it's simple then. I guess I do need the calculator. What is six, six, six times six, six, six? Please don't have a one. Four, four, three, five, five, six, fork two. Fork two, easy. Yeah, I'm not working that one out in my head. Sometimes a function's inputs can represent a range of values. What the hell does that mean? Okay, it looks like the order doesn't matter for this one. I mean, it looks like addition, but only if the numbers are... Okay, that's not addition. Four fork four is four. Five fork five is five. Five fork four is nine. What about five fork three? Ah, now we're getting to the biggest, bigger numbers. Oh, well, this is five plus four plus three. So this is going to be three plus two plus one. Oh, that's cool. That's then doable for six, six, six. Well, if it's two, two, two times three, I could technically do two, two, three, four, two, two, one. It would just add two, two, three, two, 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 one together and it'd get it. This seems like a fair place to end it. Go check it out yourself. It's on Steam. It's free if you have a .edu email. So thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you on the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.